Welcome, everybody. Beware the Ides of March. It is March 15th. John Arvosis here with the Arvosis Report, coming to you live from Washington, just for you only on YouTube. It's your, it's your special day. <laughs> Daddy's only here for you. Oh, my. Anyway, hello, all. Oh, I have had a very trying day. Oh, with the evil, with the evil, the evil Chinese overlords. Oh, my God. Anyway. Everybody doing well today? Hopefully you can all hear me. I always remember TikTok, I think, has, or TikTok, YouTube has like an eight second delay. So I'm going to have to get used to that with today's show. It's going to be delayed a little bit. Oh, turn my volume up. Hold on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Volume is now up. The volume should adjust and be a little louder. Um, anyway. Oh, my God. Anyway. This has been very taxing for me. Anyway, hello, all. It is going a little slow, though, I can tell. Oh, hey, Edsel. <laughs> you picked a good time to pop back in with all chaos breaking out. Oh, my God. Hey, Carly. You subscribed on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. No, I think it makes, honestly, sadly, we need to get more and more people subscribing on YouTube. We can't trust TikTok anymore. It really sucks. But, I mean, it's I can't even tell you. Like, I've got more information about what they did to me, and it's it is insane what they did i mean they can't even justify it they won't they won't tell me what i did wrong they won't tell me what i said they also won't tell me the category i broke the categories were made up i found out claiming i spoke hate speech and harmful disinformation was a lie wasn't it wasn't that wasn't that i'm like oh okay so i broke some rules that tiktok won't tell me and they won't tell me what I said that broke the rules. Which, frankly, sounds like a wonderful way, if I were a communist dictatorship, of getting people to just censor themselves. Punish them, take away their money, but don't tell them what they did. Just tell them, you said something that broke some rule. I mean, it's like, I could write this in a, it's like a book you could write. You know what I mean? Like 1984. Like, some rule, you said something, you broke some rule, but we're not gonna tell you what, we're not gonna tell you what you said, just be careful in the future so that you basically censor every single thing you ever say in the future. Absolutely insane. Um, I, I just, I can't even, I can't even. And they're, and they're, the way they, and the way they censor is amazing too. I mean, I, I just, they literally take snippets. They have an AI that grabs a sentence and a real person looks at the AI sentence and says, is that sentence hate speech? They don't look at the context. So yesterday when I was quoting Medvedev, the former prime minister of Russia, threatening to assassinate the French prime minister, TikTok could have easily taken that as being me threatening to assassinate the French prime minister because I read Medvedev's tweet. Mind you, I was quoting Le Monde, the top French newspaper, quoting Medvedev's evil tweet threatening Macron. So TikTok might have taken that sentence and made it me threatening Macron, I, I learned, because they literally take sentences that the AI finds that they don't like, and a human looks at the one sentence out of context and decides if you, like, broke the law. It's just, it's absolutely, absolutely insane. So yeah, I was told there's nothing I can do. So I'm offline there. I can't do the lives until next Wednesday. And I've pretty much decided that I had to make an announcement on Twitter and on TikTok because I wanted people to know where the hell I am, right? Because people are like, where are you? But I've, um, I've, that's all I've done. I made the announcements. I mentioned why briefly. I'm not going on the attack. And if TikTok does this again, then the big guns are coming out because then it means I can no longer make, make a living over at TikTok. And if that's happening because they're run by the Communist Party of China, then we're going to say that. I hope that's not the case. I'm still hopeful that we can make things work at TikTok. I love TikTok. I mean, I'm like a TikTok success story in many ways. But I'm also a TikTok horror story because I'm exactly the example of what every member of Congress talked about this week, which is, is TikTok censoring political speech in America? This week they did. You know? So... I, you know, it's, it's, again, Gunther, I'm not even comfortable getting into the details of this, Gunther, to some degree. That's how much they've silenced me with this, which is, which is the very danger and goes and proves the point of the legislation. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I told you guys, I make probably 80% of the money I make comes via TikTok. I mean, you guys are nice. Last night, you guys were crazy generous, so thank you. But typically, YouTube just doesn't bring in the money. It's TikTok. So if TikTok screws me over, I'm done. I mean, I'm done. That's like, the, I'm, then I'm not making any money and I can't do this anymore. I mean, it, it's really just amazing. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to push YouTube much more. Again, it's a little harder. I mean, well, it's funny. I like YouTube in a way because it, like this is nice today. It's just us. I don't have to I don't have to be looking back and forth at this at the two screens. You know what I mean? I can I, your guys comments come in slowly enough that I actually can read them even while I'm talking, which is nice. You don't have the crazies, by the way, which is nice. And I will say that too for you guys. You know, there's very few of you that are crazy. <laughs> no, none of you are crazy. But I mean, the trolls, we rarely get trolls on, on YouTube, which is nice. You know, so that's nice too. Um, but it just, you know, the thing is, it's just, it's just exhausting is the thing. And that's the whole point. It's just exhausting. You know, I mean, it's hard enough to, and we've got a lot of news tonight, actually. Good news and bad news both. I mean, actually, there's a lot of news tonight. But it's hard enough to cover the news lately with what's going on in Ukraine, let alone having to worry with just the daily censorship bullshit. You know, it really... Just really, I just, I just don't know. Now, hold on a second. I'm like adjusting the temperature again in my place. It's, it was another nice day in D.C., so my temperature is like in between hot and cold here today. All right, there we go. Oh, anyway, it's very annoying. In any case, so yes, um, I would urge you guys, if you, if you can afford it, and if you've sort of been here a while and you like what I'm doing, if you could, well, certainly gifts are very welcome because that still helps a lot. Um, subscriptions in their own way are more helpful in their own way just because they're long-term. And if I can get enough subscribers, it, it establishes like a steady income. And as I always say that I don't have to like bother you guys for gifts if I have a steady income of subscribers. Um, you know, the downside of subscribers is it's a smaller amount of money each month, but if it, if it can add up, it's nice. But, but just consider it at least. Um, <laughs> thank you, Peter, for the emojis. I actually, by the way, I just put an emoji before all this craziness happened. I put a new emoji in for the subscribers. Um, that's the goat. I don't know whether it's visible what it is, but the latest emoji is the, is, it, I took a picture of the, of the screaming goat. Uh, Cal, oh, Callum, we were going to add as a mod. Hang on a second. Ah, actually... Hold on. I've got to go into YouTube itself to add Callum as a mod. Yeah, one second. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Um, but check out, while I'm doing this, check out uh, subscribers, the emojis for the paid subscribers, the monthly subscribers. You guys get some emojis that are extra. And like I said, I added, I added, a, um, uh, I added a picture of the goat, but I don't know if it's too small, like whether you can actually see what it is. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pull up the comments here. One second, still pulling up. I'm, I'm stuck on an ad on my own thing. Hey, ads are ads. What do you do? Um, hey, Jens, thank you for that. I just, just saw the gift. Let me, there's Callum. Hang on, hang on. Callum, add as moderator. Well, it better be Callum. I just added as a moderator. Um, all right. Callum, did I just add you or did I just add Brendy? <laughs> I have no idea. I meant to did are, is Callum added now? Callum, write a comment and let me see if I added you. Or did I I don't even know what I did. Callum has to make a, a, a type of new comment so I can see his name as to whether it's a, a moderator. There you are. Oh good, you got the little thing next to you. There you go. Excellent. Actually, you know what too? I can even use the, uh, I can use the YouTube app today because, see, it's doing the same thing with the weird error about not receiving enough video. Something is going on with my settings and I don't know why. I don't know why. Something's weird with the settings of the video that's coming over from here and I don't know what's slowing it, but something slowed it down and I don't know why. But as long as it's not bad on your guys' ends, that's good. Okay. Anyway, oh my God. All right. Oops, sorry. Let me pull up the, yeah. All right, there we go. In any case, thank you, James. Thank you, Otan. I'm like scrolling back now real quick. So thank you guys. Yeah, so like I said, if you can afford the gifts, I appreciate it. If you, if you can afford the subscriptions, I appreciate it. Because as I said, TikTok is the majority of my income. And I, again, like overwhelming the amount of money I make each night is on TikTok. It's not here. 
It just is. Um, so, yep. Can't do live on TikTok. TikTok banned me. <laughs> I definitely can't do a live. Thank you, Carl Vincent. Thank you for subscribing. You are wonderful. All right, guys. Um, yeah, mods, if you want to tell people how to... Actually, I was just going to say, that's a good point, Ash and others. If you can tell people how to even do gifts and things, because th- we're not like anybody on TikTok, even me, I'm not as used to doing it on uh, on YouTube. I'm not even as filled in. So you can, you can fill people in. So thank you. All right, guys. So uh, coffee talk. So tomorrow morning, we still have our coffee talk, remember? Um, that's going to be... At 11 a.m. Eastern Time U.S., we're only doing it on Discord because TikTok is evil. Um, so, um, sadly for the TikTok folks, I they won't let me. Uh, thank you, Melissa, for the gift. Um, and jo- Joyce, thank you for subscribing. You rock. Uh, so, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time U.S., join us over at uh, Discord, if you would. And, by the way, for folks who subscribe on YouTube... You know, at some point, we could see about trying to go live on YouTube at the same time. I just would rather not have too many services at once. Um, It would be easier if you go over to Discord and make sure you join the Discord and then, you know, the Ervosis Discord, and then make sure when you're there, you go into your profile settings and you link your account to your YouTube account. You know, basically, there's some setting for YouTube. You click it, you log into YouTube, and then your Discord knows your YouTube. And that way... Um, you're able to get access to the chat tomorrow. Um, if it's a real pain in the butt, I can see about maybe trying to go live on YouTube at the same time. Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate that. Because um, I don't want to like knock anybody out tomorrow. You know, thank you, Steven. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Um, but in any case, let's go. Yeah, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Let me see. Maybe tomorrow I can try to go live on YouTube anyway at the same time. I probably can. I can probably do both. Um, I think. If I do one on my iPad and one on my computer, I can try. Just because I don't want any of the new people to be knocked out. You know what I mean? Um, but in any case, so yeah, for the monthly subscribers, basically every Saturday, more or less, I will be, uh, I host a little show that only the subscribers can come to. On TikTok, we sometimes let the other people come, but they can't chat. It's only us that can chat. They can kind of observe, or they can observe for a minute or two, and then they get kicked out. But it's me. It's often Vlad. And we hang out and talk about the latest, and it's quite nice. Um, thank you, Paula. I'm feeling sorry for me, too, to be honest. No, and it's, it's tough. Like, I've got to, I, I, well, I'm of a certain age where I'm clearly never going to get a thicker skin. This stuff just bothers me. It really does. Like, I hate when they do this kind of stuff. It just, it's hard enough doing this work, you know, and it's just like, I was talking to Yulia about it today, too. And it's just very, it's, 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 it, it gets you down, you know. Thank you, Maria, or Marie, I should say. Um, I can do men- members only streams and videos over here on YouTube. Yes, I can. Correct. Correct. Um, my only concern was it's I, it, it's too many streams when I'm on TikTok too, because then I'm on Discord and TikTok and YouTube and I don't have enough screens to do it. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, if people want, and if, if uh, anybody want to explain, like for Martin who just came in, uh, explain what the deal is with TikTok, I'm, I'm fine. Just kind of basically explain what they did and they're assholes. And in principle, I'm back next Wednesday, but there's nothing to say next Wednesday. They're not going to do the same thing all over again because there are no rules. Thank you, Lotus. It just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. And mind you, they haven't done this to me for two years. Remember when they went after all the Ukraine creators two years ago? Coincidentally, TikTok shot down all the Ukraine creators. For two years, they haven't touched me. And now all of a sudden, twice in a week, boom. Just, and, and refusing, refusing the appeal. Anyway, real idiots. Um, okay, guys, there is a ton of news today. Let me get started here, okay? It's, I'm going to adjust the light a little. It's weird, though. Let me look here on my other screen. Yeah, you know, I may stick with the other screen, actually, because the YouTube screen, when I look at it, Oh, you know what's funny, by the way, too? Hang on a second. I am going to adjust this a little bit more. The light is, interestingly, it's brighter. Hang on a sec. I'm looking at this, and I'm noticing that the light, like, once I look at YouTube directly, the light is actually brighter. How interesting. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, we'll have to see about this. And it, But it's like, it's about a 10-second delay on YouTube, so I'm thinking I'm going to stick with my other program that I can watch. 
So we'll do it this way. Okay, guys, there is a ton of news tonight. So let me get rolling here. Again, thank you, Lotus, for the gift. Marie, I think I got you guys covered. Um, let me get rolling. So um, a quick little news that happened before, uh, before we get rolling. Um, Mike Pence, Donald Trump's vice president, just came out and said it did get pinker. I don't know what the hell's going on. Hang on. This is so annoying. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to adjust this. Auto white balance, auto exposure on and off. Um, hang on, guys. Brightness. I'm trying to, like, make this work, but, boy, it's not easy. Hold on. Real quick. Uh, let me try the auto white balance. Let's try this. Um, that might be a little better. It's, it's difficult. That's why I honestly, this, the funny part too, is the camera I have is like a $140 camera. Like I bought a good camera for all this stuff that I do. And it still is kind of garbage. Like I pretty much need to buy a new camera, which just sucks, but I don't like this camera because as you can see what it's doing, it just doesn't like, it's not true to life basically. You know what I mean? Like it's constantly, I'm doing what I can with the settings here and it's still just off. It, it won't give um, it won't give true to life sort of, yeah, but it's annoying though. When you're, when you're, it's not really OCD, Richard, when you're doing broadcasts. I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing like national television. I started doing in like 1989. Um, when you do a lot of TV and other stuff, you've got to pay attention to the lighting and everything because it, it adjusts sort of, you know, how people like the show or whatever. Um, no, it's, it's, there is no too much white. That's the problem. <laughs> There's no such setting. <laughs> the settings, you'll laugh. The settings are the simplest thing out there. It's Logitech, but it's the, it's the Logitech that was the really good one a couple of years ago that everybody was buying, um, 990 or 9, something like that. And it's a, it's a piece of garbage. And as soon as I got it, I was like, this is garbage. Um, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to adjust this, but it's, it's going to... And of course, I have it on... Auto, you may just turn off the auto exposure. All right, we're doing this one more time, guys. I'm turning off the auto exposure, turning off the white balance. I'm going to adjust the brightness here. And let's see. This is still going to be bad. I don't, okay. We're going to try one last time because it's just not going to, yeah, it's not worth. I don't want to waste my, uh, I don't want to waste your time here. But yeah, see, there's, okay, you know what, guys? I'm setting this on automatic and we're letting it be. Because there's, yeah, there's no way to do this the right way. So, all right, it's not automatic. We're not going to worry about it. The colors, this is just one more example of, of today being just a disaster. <laughs> you know, actually, I wonder, all right, I am going to look at one last thing. Now I am going to be OCD. Changing the camera. I don't think I can change the camera. I think it's too hard to change the camera. Hang on. Is this my Mac camera? One second here. All right, let me turn off this camera. Boom. And then try my Mac camera instead. Oh, you know what? The Mac camera, the Mac camera is being better. Okay. It's not perfect, but I think it's better than the other one. All right, we're sticking with the Mac camera right now. All right. Like I said, it's not exactly uh, the best thing on the planet, but I feel like I feel like this is less gross than the other one. All right. Yeah, I'm just not dealing with this anymore. All right, guys, enough of this. It's freaking me out. All right, enough of this. It looks better. All right, now I admit I'm getting OCD with the camera. <laughs> All right, we're done with this. Guys, there's a ton of news, and it's actually very interesting news. Some good, some bad, but let's go through it because it's very interesting today. All right, I think this is better. Yeah, now I'm going to have to... The 4K, that's what I'm going to have to look at, Otunbot. And it sucks. I mean, what do you do? You know, I'll let you guys know and if you can pitch in when I finally... I mean, don't do it yet. But when I decide to buy it, I'll let you guys know. I, actually, I'm going to try to... It's the Logitech 4K. I typically like to do research before I buy stuff. Um, I'm a bit anal that way, but I, it's so that I don't necessarily buy stuff that is you know, not as good. But I will look for that because I had a wonderful camera years ago that was like the Magic Cam. It was the lighting, the, the glow, everything about it. And like this camera, by the way, has less of a resolution. So even though the color is better, the resolution is much worse on this camera. So unfortunately, it's going to be streaming at a much lesser quality. You know, after the show, I'm going to start looking for the new camera. I'll let you guys know. 
Um, in any case, all right, let's, um, there's a lot of news, guys. All right, thank you, Jeff. There's a lot of news. Let's get into this. So uh, tomorrow morning, like I said, 11 a.m., we're doing our coffee talk. Um, hopefully, Vlad's joining us. Vlad is traveling to Kharkiv with his family. They have to get a lot of their stuff out of there So in a couple days. So I don't know if tomorrow is like a crazy, you know, getting prepared to travel day. But if not, Vlad will join us, which will be nice. Um, otherwise, I will be on Discord at 11 a.m. Eastern, and I will try to do the members-only thing on YouTube as well with you guys, okay? So hopefully that will, hopefully that will work out. Um, Today's day 748 of Putin's three-day special military operation. Um, Russia did a horrific attack on Odessa today. Odessa, you guys know, is in southern Ukraine, all the way down here. Remember, the Russians occupy this. So this is free territory, but it's some of the only coastline, I should say, it's the only coastline the Ukrainians still have. Um, it's really bad. You know, so I'm looking for my, oh, there, oh, good girl, there you are. Okay. I feel bad because it's, it's drizzling outside and someone is freaking out because someone is the smartest dog on the planet so she can smell when rain is coming. And she learned long ago that rain means lightning means thunder. So all she has to do is smell rain and she panics. So she was panicking. I gave her a little sleeping pill. And now at least she's in the bed under my, my work desk right now. Thank God, because... It was right before that. That was a that was a whole other thing I was dealing with before the show. Hold on, I'll show you guys. <laughs> that was a whole. This this is this is my little girl under the under the table, looking at me. But at least she's in her little bed. But I was dealing with this for the last hour because she was just sitting there shaking, and you're like, oh my god, they have a way of just you know getting to you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Joyce. Um. So yeah, so uh, Ukraine did a or Ukraine. Russia did a horrific attack on Odessa today. Um, uh, very bad, actually. This even for Russia, this was very bad. Um, number of people killed has now risen to at least twenty, which is really large for these attacks. At least seventy-five people were injured. At least ten houses in Odessa were damaged by uh, Iskander missiles, the Russian missiles. But listen to this. And this is classic Russia, and this is why, again, and I'm sure our communist overlords wouldn't be happy about me saying this, but we're in free, we're in Fredonia today. <laughs> so, so, you know, you know, what, what I forget, what's it called? What's up? You know, we, we're not in Gilead for tonight's show, so I can talk about this. Um, the Russians do something called double taps. And CNN has talked about it. This is from Sky News. Sky News comes right out and explains what it is. So were, the, were our communist overlords to try to punish me if I were live today somewhere else, we would have proof <laughs> because I'm literally explaining what the Russians do. But the Russians do double taps, which is a terrorist move. Um, Osama bin Laden was a big fan of doing this, ISIS as well. And it's when you basically have a terrorist attack and then... Like, bomb goes off, right? Um, first responders come. People run to the scene to, to help save people, pull them out, right? The ambulances come. And then you wait five or ten minutes for the ambulances to get there, and then you drop another bomb. Because that way, you kill all the paramedics. You kill all the, the what do you call people? The do-gooders. You know what I mean? The, there's a word for that. The people who show up and help, whatever, that good Samaritans, basically, that you kill them too. And that's what the Russians did. They did a double tap on this attack. And the thing is, this is from Sky News. I'm going to read you, okay? So it's not even me. It's not even me assuming this, right? Um, after the first missiles hit home, a second missile arrived, targeting first responders who had come to the scene to help victims. The technique of firing a second missile at the same location is known by the military as a double tap. It is aimed at hitting rescuers and other civilians. This is why the Russians are war criminals. This is why the Russians are murderers. This is why we talk about this. This is why the International Criminal Court has indicted them. This is, and this is why, frankly, all of us are so allied against them, because this is the kind of crap the Russians do. It's horrific. I mean, it really is horrific. You know, it's bad enough to attack civilian areas, but then to say, let's wait 10 minutes so we can kill everybody in the ambulances, so we can kill all the innocent civilians. I mean, it's, it's absolutely sickening. Um, the Legion, the Russian Legion. So we were talking the last couple of days about these attacks from the um, Russian fighters who are fighting with Ukraine, right? 
uh, not fighting with Ukraine, but fighting on behalf of Ukraine. And uh, they've reportedly had a number of attacks along the Ukrainian-Russian border. They were up here near Belgorod and also Kursk. So Belgorod is this region, more or less Kursk. I am not, you know, Mr. Ukrainian geography, but more or less Kursk is this region. So they were coming into both of these regions, um, these Russians who are basically fighting on behalf of Ukraine. So they're Russian rebels in a sense. Thank you, John Martin. Um, uh, the Russian rebels fighting on behalf of you, uh, came into Russia and they've been raising hell. Well, there have been stories for a couple days, but it hasn't really been clear, is it real? Right? Like, is this a psychological game? Are they kind of, you know, there's some attacks, but they're pretending to freak out Putin and make him move troops away from the front, right? Well, there's a little more evidence today that this is real. Um, these guys launched some major attacks across the Russian border and the Russians are getting a little freaked out. So this was from the Kiev Post. Listen to this. Civilians in Russia's Belgorod region complain that they cannot sleep at night because the Russian military has deployed military equipment in residential areas and is opening fire from there. In an intercepted call released by Ukraine's military uh, intelligence directorate, a woman living in Belgorod revealed that the Russian authorities had placed uh, MLRS launchers. MLRS is kind of like a HIMARS in a sense. You know, like, so a, a weapon system that can shoot lots of rockets at once. So this rocket launchers at a street intersection near her home in a residential neighborhood. Guys, they had to put rocket launchers on the corner of a residential neighborhood in this Russian town. That means the Ukrainians did something. Oh, there was, I think you got to see little, yeah, little, you got to see the little bit of little Missy in the background jump on the couch if anybody caught that. Um... A little bit more here. They destroyed half of Gorkovsky, uh, a village in another district of Belgorod, they said. And now they're still doing it, the woman says in a phone conversation. They decided to put grad missiles at the intersection near Kirpichny. It's so loud, it's like a effing nightmare at the junction. The woman adds that she cannot sleep at night because of the constant firing. That's great. That is great. I mean, that's, that's the fun side of intelligence is when you get little things like that that basically help you learn that, in fact, there is fighting going on. The Russians are concerned. And this isn't just this Russian legion, these Russian uh, you know, resistance fighters kind of making up and pretending they're attacking just to freak out Putin. They're actually doing something, which is pretty wild. Um, Ukraine conducted another drone strike at a Russian oil refinery in Kaluga earlier this morning, causing damage in an operation that was conducted by the uh, military spy agency. Ukraine has been repeatedly going after Russian, um, uh, well, Russian uh, uh, oil refineries and oil installations in the last few months, but especially the last few days, which is very interesting. So, and good. I mean, very good. Again, yet another thing to kind of freak the Russians out, obviously also intended to uh, hurt the war effort as well. Um, hang on a second. I'm going to grab a little copy of something I want to keep. Hold on. I want to copy a little bit of technical data off the bottom of my screen for when we try to do this via other services. Um, so anyway, that's good news. Um, Putin is kind of freaking out over the election. So this weekend is the big election in Russia. By the way, thank you, Kay. I saw your, I did see your gift as well. Didn't get to thank you. John Martin, I think that might be a second one from you. Uh, Cream, I, just, I don't quite remember who I've thanked. Evelyn, thank you guys, all of you. Even better. If I thank you twice, all the better. Joyce, Annie, Sharon. And thank you, by the way, subscribers. I see Chris and Bjorn, Ashley, Brendy. Let me just pull up anybody else here. Recent here. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, I think I got you. Oh, Blue Ariel. Thank you, Blue Ariel. Oh, check something, though, guys. I want to know, does the emoji work? So for the paid subscribers on YouTube, can you find the emoji of the uh, screaming goat? I did. I took a picture of his head and I put it up as an emoji, but I don't know if the quality is good enough to actually tell that it's an emoji or not, or whether the face is too small. So I'm going to wait one second here while we're trying this. And you all let me know if we can actually see the goat <laughs> and whether we can actually tell what it is. Um, is it see to me from my eyes, it's pretty small. For you guys, can you tell what that is? Or is that a little too small, you think? Is that too small or not? Again, I don't have my glasses, so, you know, everything's, everything's a little uh, 
a little hard for me to see. Actually, it's not. Oh, you know what, Dawn? You're right. That other, the other goat one is more of a goat. No, that's true. How did you find the other one, Dawn? See, I'm not like, I don't know how to do these things on TikTok, I mean, on YouTube. Dawn, Dawn somehow found, like, Dawn and Chris found an actual goat emoji. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Too small? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Maybe I'll go and, and grab a, and maybe I'll go and try to find another goat emoji online that's a little better. Although, frankly, you had access to that one, which isn't too bad. Um, okay. I wasn't too sure. I thought I would get a picture of his head. It was a good idea, at least. But I will work on it. And keep in mind, if there's other emojis you want, let me know. Because I get like 15 emojis for the paid subscribers or whatever. Um, can I donate without being a member here? Sure. I mean, yeah, sure. You can. Well, the thing is, okay. If you were to, if you wanted to donate here, you would buy a gift, basically. So you don't have to become a subscriber, which is the monthly thing. You could just buy a gift. And the mods can tell you how. I don't quite, I think there's a star at the bottom that you click. And it says like, uh, Super Chat and Super Stickers. Super Chat is if you want to ask a question, which I always guarantee I'll answer the Super Chat questions. And Super Stickers are just like cute little gifts you can show on the screen. So you could do that if you want. Or just go to eravosis.com, which you see on the screen. That'll take you to my, um, my, my, my page of links. And you could find my PayPal. You can find my everything there. So you could always just, you know, donate that way if you want. It's up to you. Whatever you want. Um, but thank you for even asking. So thank you. Um, so a little bit more here. So, okay, so Putin is getting really pissed off about the election. Putin's elections this weekend, and things have not been going well. Now, you'll recall, and actually, I finally got an answer today. Um, this is one of the analysts over at Sky News. Who was, this woman was very interesting, this Diana woman. Um, I, you guys might recall, I've been trying to figure out why is it that Putin has been so uptight about this election. Thank you, Roy. Um, for the gift. Why, why is he so uptight? The, he lives in a dictatorship, right? This is easy. I mean, this should be oh, a little bit. Okay, the dog wants more water, but I'm going to give her more because she's been panicking. So she's been drinking a lot. One quick second. All right, you, you get a little more, even though you're going to be peeing on me all night. All right. A little bit. There you go. All right. I'm breaking my I'm breaking my rule and giving the dog too much water because she's been in kind of a panic about it being drizzly out. So she's already had a ton of water, but she sits there and is panting. So I'm like, all right, you get more water. So um, in any case, Putin has been in a panic about the election. And it's been I've been trying to figure out why, because he's a dictator, right? He's going to win. So what's the problem? Let me just give you it, it, things have not been going well. Basically, um, I, I've got a couple different stories I pulled up. Let me go through them because it's actually very interesting as to why he's freaking out. Also, what's interesting is there's a lot of civil disobedience going on in Russia this weekend with the elections, which is really fascinating. Um, listen to this. Uh, Putin's already been showing apparent signs of anger over the events of the last 24 hours. The first day of voting ahead of his inevitable re-election is being overshadowed by protests and attacks at polling stations around the country. Oh, thank you, Roy. I appreciate that. Roy just became a subscriber. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, every subscriber we get is one is one is one step away from the evil people. So thank you. Um, listen to this. Um, and a, a, a criminal case has been opened against this. Russian elections are this weekend for presidents, right? A criminal case has been opened against a woman who poured green dye into a ballot box in an attempt to damage voting papers. In one video, a voter is seen burning a ballot paper with the inscription, bring back my husband. I mean, I mean, damn, right? I, I mean, she, in other words, either her husband died in Ukraine or is fighting in Ukraine for the Russians, and she's pissed. So she wrote on her ballot and then is seen burning it, and it says, bring back my husband. Meanwhile, in the Western Siberian region of Kantimansi, um, another video showed the scene after a woman tried to set fire to a ballot box with a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> I mean, guys, we got our problems in our country. This stuff does not happen. I mean, this does not happen. Um, in other footage, oh, listen to this, listen to this. 
that's what I mean. Putin apparently was visibly angry. He's blaming it on the Ukrainians because supposedly several of the people are saying the Ukrainians put them up to it and paid them, which I hope is true because it's hilarious. Listen to this. In other footage, which was posted today on Telegram, which is a social media app the Russians use a lot. Oops, hang on. There you go. Posted on Telegram, an unknown person is seen apparently urinating on the grave of Vladimir Putin's parents at the Serafimovsky Cemetery in St. Petersburg. I mean, and again, first of all, the image of doing that. Okay, just doing it to start with, it is such a kind of vile thing to do, right? I mean, on, on multiple levels, right? Um, and just emotionally vile to him, right? Doing this, the violation involved. And it is, it's a, it's a very violating kind of thing. But doing it in a dictatorship, it, it, it frankly shows that you're not that scared, you know, that you're not that scared um, if you're doing this kind of stuff. Um, this, is, this, is, this is wild and very interesting. Um, now, I was gonna, now, why this election matters, and this also gets to some of the issue of why, what, why this, this protest matters and why Putin has been kind of freaking out the last several months, why he killed Navalny, why he uh, got the other candidates thrown out, most of them, right, from, being, um, from even being able to be on the ballot, right? And listen to this. The, uh, this woman's uh, Diana, Diana Mag Magne, or Magne, um, who's an a analyst with Sky News. If turnout and support... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see this. Um... Oh, okay. Sorry, her English is written a little poorly. She says, if turnout, if turnout flags or support flags, so in other words, if in this election, Putin is going to have a problem, if this election result shows that A, fewer people turned out than last time, because they may not vote against him, but if they don't show up to vote, it shows, you know, ennui. It shows kind of a fatigue, right? Uh, it, 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 it is a weakening of support if you don't turn out to vote, right? So they're saying if turnout is less this time, that's bad for Putin because it looks bad. And if support is less, that's bad too, the actual vote. The only thing is they're going to cheat on the vote. So I kind of wonder whether that can really turn out less, you know what I mean? But nonetheless, um, she says that would be bad for Putin. Um, this he cannot allow. Um, quote, it's like Churchill saying that dictators ride on tigers, they dare not dismount. I'm going to read that to you again. It's like Churchill saying that dictators ride on tigers, they dare not dismount. So meaning a dictator, part of the whole quality of being a dictator is it's like riding on a tiger and you're controlling the tiger, but if you ever get off the tiger, it's going to eat you and kill you. And that's sort of part of the whole system of what you're running right, by, by being a dictator, is the entire system is corrupt, the entire system is violent, and you better keep it under control because the second it throws you off, you know, you're going to be the next target. So that, so that you don't want a weakening of support is what they're saying in the elections, right? Um, we have a war crisis, a political crisis inside and outside the country, Russia, and if Putin gets less than he did six years ago, that will mean he doesn't have the support of his people and that will crush his system. It is also a way of proving to those who might feel at the very least some disquiet about the course their country is taking that they are in the minority. So the idea too is if you can show even more people voted this time and Putin's vote total went up, it, it's, it can quiet the dissenters because the dissenters feel like, okay, well, what am I going to do, right? Um, now, one thing I actually forgot to mention because we got on a tangent when I started the show. There was a story right when the show started that was very interesting, just came out. Mike Pence, our vice president, just came out today and said he's not, he's not voting for Donald Trump. He's not supporting Donald Trump. This is very interesting. Um, Pence was Trump's vice president, um, very conservative man, very religious man. Trump is, uh, tr I should say, Pence is what we would call religious right in America. They're like a religious conservative, but like super religious conservative. Um, very conservative Republican on everything. Pence uh, said that he cannot in good conscience endorse Donald Trump. He gave three reasons which were a little bizarre. One was uh, fiscal in terms of Trump, I think, spending too much money, which I thought was kind of fascinating because, you know, Pence was part of that. Trump did. Trump 
increased the debt by $7 trillion with a T. But Pence was part of that administration too, right? So that's the first thing. Second of all, um, see you, Ashley. Uh, second of all, so Trump, uh, Pence was first upset with Trump about, about uh, the debt. He then was upset with Trump about abortion. My guess is Trump has come out in favor of like a 16-week abortion ban nationwide. That would be huge. I mean, that would be a problem for a lot of women and a lot of men too, you know, who because who, the men are, men are involved too in this baby making. And um, Trump is Trump is like thinks he's picking a middle ground by saying he's in favor of a ban at six at 16 weeks. Well, people like Pence want a nationwide ban, period. So uh, Pence is pissed at Trump about abortion. And finally, Pence is pissed at Trump about the TikTok ban, because as I mentioned to you guys before, uh, Trump recently met with a Republican billionaire who has a big investment in ByteDance, which is uh, TikTok's parent company. And the billionaire convinced Trump, of course, to flip flop. And now Trump doesn't want to uh, slap uh, TikTok around. He doesn't want to ban TikTok or force the sale because he, you know, be, well, he could, basically he was bought off by the dictator. <laughs> I mean, in whatever way the dictator did it, the dictator bought Trump off. So Pence is pissing him for that. What was interesting is what Pence did not do. Pence did not mention that um, he did not mention the insurrection. Okay, Trump sent thousands of people to the U.S. Capitol whose goal they said was to lynch Mike Pence. Lynching is when you put the rope around the neck and kill somebody. They even built they even built a gallows with like a, a rope and stuff like a symbolic gallows for Pence. Trump didn't care. Trump knew that Pence was, Trump was, I mean, Pence was hiding in a room in the U.S. Capitol. These people were searching for him and Trump refused to call off the dogs, okay? I mean, amazing. So for, uh, but you've got to think about this, but Pence didn't bring that up. That's not why Pence is opposing Donald Trump for president. Pence is opposing him because of abortion, because of TikTok in China, and because of the debt. But he never once mentioned, oh, yeah, also because you tried to violently overthrow the government and your followers said they were going to have me killed and you didn't lift a finger to stop them. I mean, really. Hey, Kevin, it's so bizarre. It's, it's funny here on TikTok to be getting people's real names. You know, I mean, it's really interesting. Um, it's just it's just it's just kind of like seeing Kevin It's saying mustard. It's just it's weird to like have the names changing. You know what I mean? Um, Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the settings. Interesting. Okay, sorry. I'm seeing some things on the settings that are getting upset. I'm gonna again do a little copy of this for later, so I can ask some of the tech people to help me out. Encoding overload. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. All right. One of the one of you geniuses is gonna have to help me with this. Apparently, stuff is going too fast. So on my computer, I may need a. The other really scary part is I may need another computer too, which I'm not in the mood for. Because that's because it's an Apple and that's another two to three thousand dollars. But we'll see. We'll worry about that because this one this one's five years old, but it works like I'm, I'm very conservative on my computers. Like I buy good ones so they last, but I don't like the idea like this laptop works other than the keyboard doesn't work. <laughs> I have to use a separate keyboard, but it's like, you know, what do you do? TikTok is not back. TikTok is banned through next Wednesday, Jason. They let me know today. They're refusing to bring me back. And refusing to say what I did wrong and refusing to even say what rule I broke now. Apparently, I did not break the rules they said I broke and they won't tell me what I said that violated the rule. It's a big secret, apparently, because that's the way TikTok works. Yeah. Nothing arbitrary and capricious about that at all. At all. Um, all right. Uh, de -de 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 the Russians are continuing to pressure Ukrainians in the occupied territories to get passports. This is not a surprise. Um, a Russian passport is needed for jobs, health care, pensions and property. Um, after these rules came in, hundreds of properties were deemed abandoned and seized by the Russian government. Nasty. Thank you, Christopher Klein, for becoming a member. I very much appreciate that. Um, as I told folks, what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think, to make it easier, I'm going to do our coffee talk at 11 a.m. Eastern time. That's 11 a.m. Washington, D.C. time. Remember, our time changed here in America last weekend. So if you're abroad, be aware of that. Um, that's why I always say make sure it's Washington, D.C. time. But I will go live on Discord and YouTube at the same time. Hey, Stephen, thank you as well. Um, I will go live on Discord and YouTube. That way, 
it, so it's not as hard for you guys, okay? Um, because I know like basically once you do this, you need to then subscribe on Discord and you need to link your account. We can talk about that more tomorrow if, if somebody doesn't know how to do it because I typically want people to come to Discord because it's a lot easier to have the group there. And also Vlad's able to join us on Discord. He can't really join us on YouTube as well. So it's, it's anyway, it's a little more confusing, but yeah. Um, any case, um, well, I, I've got it. The problem with uh, Marie, the problem with TikTok is like 80% of my money comes from TikTok. TikTok, TikTok has a much larger audience, although, you know, that's good and bad. It's good and bad. Right, because I think a lot of the audience is crazy on TikTok. We get a lot of the crazies, you know, the trolls. Um, but in terms of my trying to do this full time, I've got to make enough income to pay my bills. And TikTok, TikTok's fees are horrific. Oh, TikTok's fees are, are horrific. TikTok takes fifty percent. TikTok takes fifty percent of the gifts, and of the subscriptions, they take like sixty or sixty-five percent. It's obscene. No one takes that kind of money. But. But so many people give gifts on TikTok that it ends up still being lucrative for the creators, even though TikTok takes half the gift. YouTube, for example, I should say YouTube, for example, only takes 30%. Now, 30% is still significant, but 30% is a hell of a lot better than 50%, right? I mean, right? It's better. Um, so it's, but, you know, but when you're a creator, you kind of have to take it where you can get it. For some people, it's just easier on TikTok. Some people just don't use YouTube. Like even for me, I don't use YouTube much. I use TikTok a lot more. I don't really cruise videos on, on YouTube. You know what I mean? Or some people do. But in any case, yeah. So I've been trying to sort of do multiple services. YouTube isn't bad, but up until now, TikTok has been so much more lucrative, you know? So, which is why I can't just cut them off. I mean, trust me, a part of me is just kind of like, eh. Now, TikTok is also big and growing. I do not make good income. No, no. Most months I'm not breaking even, which is not good. You know, last year there was one point that I was doing better than breaking even. Now the last many months I'm not even breaking even, which is not good. Um, so no, I wish it were good income. It's not. <laughs> that's why I. That's why every day I'm always bothering you guys about the gifts. <laughs> and again, I hate talking money because it sucks. But but when you do these kind of jobs, like as your job, it literally is like you've got to figure out income because nobody's paying your income. You know. In any case, let's let's stop talking about that. But yeah, we don't get. Fortunately, we don't get trolls. Well, we rarely get trolls on YouTube and when they do, they're kind of easy to deal with, you know? It's it's like the, it makes Manda and Callum and Ashley the, the Maytag repairmen, you know, from that old commercial because like there's no work to do. Um, in any case, uh, let me get a little bit more here, guys. The Biden administration accused Iran of preparing to expand its military cooperation with Russia by providing Moscow with advanced ballistic missiles to use in Ukraine. Uh, we're talking about doing additional sanctions on Iran if that happens. Up until now, we believe that the Iranians and the Russians have been talking about getting additional missiles. They already got additional missiles, I believe, from North Korea, but they had not reached a deal yet and we're getting worried. I guess intelligence is showing that they may be getting close to reaching a deal, which is a little scary. Um, there was a very, a real, I'm going to read this to you. There's a really scary article. Um, um, there's a really scary article about, uh, what's coming next for Ukraine from American security officials. Let me read you a little bit about this. Okay. And from the, from the Ukrainians, a senior advisor to Zelensky agreed that there was a high likelihood of significant Russian territorial gains against Ukraine by the summer in the absence of new U S aid. Quote, people don't understand how bad the front is right now, he said. The morale is low. The momentum is low. Young men are afraid they will be mobilized to, to die because of a lack of weapons. Also, there's a manpower shortage. Um, the article talked about how Russia is three and a half times the size of Ukraine, so they've just got more men to grab. Also, Russia has no problem with basically killing its men. They are happy to send their troops into a you know meat grinder to die and the Ukrainians, like most civilized countries, don't do that. So the Russians not only have more men, but they're happy to just go crazy and throw, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of men at you. And eventually that can work. In other words, if you're willing to let half your men die or three quarters of your men die, you can probably take over more territory than than normal places like Ukraine would. Right. So that's a concern. Um, there is no immediate solution in sight to Kyiv's intensifying manpower challenge. Okay, the other problem is, so there's two big problems for Ukraine. One is the Western support, 
Okay, that's a huge problem. The other problem is Ukraine doesn't have enough manpower and they've been dawdling. There's been a big, there's a big, how do I want to put this? Um, sort of debate in Ukraine as to who's to blame. Is it Zelensky? Is it the military, right? But because they've been afraid that, that the population overall isn't really thrilled about having a much more stern draft of men, like a much more ramped up draft. Um, but without the draft, they're running short of manpower. And without the manpower, you can't stop the Russians. So it's a combination of Ukrainians not having enough weapons, you know, missiles, um, uh, missiles to also shoot down, for example, Patriot missiles and all of those things. Uh, let me read you this, for example. Let me let's re read this. Hang on. Where's the, um, um, I've got this quote. Where is this quote here? While Ukraine has tried to shoot down four out of every five missiles fired at it at its cities, it soon may be able to target only one in five because of the fact that it's running low on missiles. I mean, so from four out of five being shot down, it may only be able to go after one in five. And if four out of five Russian missiles are able to hit Ukrainian cities, that's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. Um, let's see, any more here? Ukrainian policymakers have told European and U.S. officials that munitions for some of their missile defense systems may be nearly used up by the end of March. That's like a couple weeks, according to two officials who met with Ukrainians at a security conference this month. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, in terms of some good news, Athens told European Union officials that it could supply Ukraine with extensive ammunition stocks via the Czech Republic. Portugal joined the Czech-led led initiative to provide Ukraine with hundreds of thousands of artillery shells, pledging uh, 100 million euros or $109 million. Uh, Sweden is going to supply Ukraine with nine Coast Guard watercraft. And a um, nasty little story, but confirmation, the United Nations has confirmed that Russian torture of Ukrainian prisoners of war is, quote, widespread and systematic and shows a blatant disregard for human dignity. Again, and, the, you know, we have seen the pictures of, of Ukrainian troops coming out of uh, being held by the Russians. They look like Holocaust survivors. And I am not exaggerating. You've got to see these guys. I mean, you've seen the pictures. If you haven't, it's horrific. These guys have lost. It's like somebody like me losing 40 or 50 pounds. I mean, horrifically skinny. Um, the Russians starve them to death. They torture them. It is a violation of every rule of war. You don't do that to prisoners of war. The Russians do. Um, I, I, you know, it's funny. I, keep, I still keep thinking we're on TikTok and I've got to be careful of what I say. The, you know, the official government policy, well, again, we'll quote the UN. The official government policy is to commit war crimes. The official government policy is to torture prisoners of war. This is, the official government policy is to attack civilian homes and then wait 10 minutes and bomb them again so you kill all the ambulance workers and you kill all the civilian neighbors who come running to help pull people out of the, 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 the fires. We are not dealing with a normal enemy. We are dealing with a country that doesn't believe in the rules of order, doesn't believe in, it isn't really a member of the civil group of nations. They're not. Um, Ronald Reagan called them an evil empire. He was right, and they still are. Um, that's why I bring up those stories, just to kind of remind folks. I mean, you guys know, but to just kind of remind folks of who we're dealing with. And this is why, in the end, so many of the Eastern European countries who border Ukraine, who border Russia, well, Ukraine and Russia, really, are so worried about what's going to happen next because they know the Russians. They know that they're not like you and me. They're not just coming to get a little land and then they're going to say, oh, but it would be too hard to go against NATO. Putin doesn't care how many how hundreds of thousands of his own men he loses in a war, right? These guys are brutal. They're willing to commit any war crime. It's, yeah, anyway, thus the reason we are worried about what's next with Russia. All right, let me look at your guys' questions. I do wish, of course, the font is small on here, but I will live with it. Is it any larger on TikTok directly? No, well, the font might be a little better on YouTube. I'm trying to look here so I can maybe, oh yeah, I can make the font a little larger. Oops, that made it smaller. Oh, go away. I'm trying to make the font smaller so I actually can see the uh, your guys' comments better. Come on. Hold on one second here. There we go. Whoops. Bah, I'm waiting for them to come. There we are. Okay, that's a little bigger. That's a little bigger. Um, 
What is the best way to donate so you can keep the most PayPal? Yeah, probably PayPal. PayPal is probably the easiest. Yeah. I mean, Venmo and Cash App in a way are even better because it's, it's, they take even less. But for some people, that's too confusing. If you've got Venmo and Cash App, I'd say use them because I don't think they take any. PayPal, if you send it friends and family, they take zero. If you don't send friends and family, they take 3%. So since, this, since you're not buying a service, I would not do friends and family. Uh, excuse me. I would do friends and family. Um, just so you know, on PayPal, the reason they take the 3% is because if you're buying a service, if you're buying a good, for example, on PayPal, you want to pay the extra 3% because that indicates it's a business transaction. And if you don't receive the product, it's guaranteed by PayPal if you complain within 30 days or whatever, or you get a bad product. If you say it's friends and family and you don't get the product, then, then you can't complain to PayPal because they're going to say, no, you didn't order anything. So that's the difference. Something like this where it's a donation, there's no reason to put it down as a product because I'm not giving you anything other than my love. Um, so yeah, PayPal is probably the easiest for you as long as you do, uh, as long as you do friends and family. Yep. And even if you don't, it's 3%. I'll live. You know what I mean? That they're going to take. It's, but, but it's easier for folks, I think. Oh, and the final thing is PayPal's nice because you also can just use credit cards. Um, you don't have to necessarily, uh, um, you don't have to have a PayPal account, which is nice. For Vlad, when, you do, when we donate to Vlad, you do. But for me, you could just use a credit card, which is nice because some people don't have PayPal. So anyway, thank you for asking. Ah, hey, Jason, thank you. No, I appreciate it. Like I said, I've been, I've been down all day because I just, you know, I was getting more and more details about the TikTok stuff and just getting angrier and angrier the more I was being told. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You know, it's just so freaking annoying. Um, anyway. Anyway, I wonder about something. Actually, can I pause this? I'm curious. No, if I pause the video, it's it's not going to, it's going to, I think I'm going to, I am. I'm going to shut my TikTok video and then go back here with you guys because I think it might be, it might be quicker this way. It might be. Yeah. Well, let's see. We shall see. Anyway, thank you, Tom Clark, for subscribing. You are a wonderful human being a gentleman and a scholar. Oh, if you got Venmo, then perfect, Nancy. Yeah, Venmo totally works. And it's equally, it's equally easy for me because I do my taxes just by tallying it all up. Um, so it's okay. Can you share their response to Discord? I'm being a little careful about sharing their response because I was able to get it through people on the inside, so I'm trying to be a little careful. But bottom line is, their response is, they're not going to tell you what you did. They're not going to tell you what you said that was wrong. And they're not even going to tell you what rule you broke because apparently the rules you broke are, are uh, not real. So I was told, oh no, it wasn't, dis if it was disinformation, they would have banned you for good. I'm like, okay, so it wasn't disinformation, even though that's what they accused me of. And it wasn't hate speech, even though that's what they accused me of. Okay, then what was it? Don't know. What did I say? Don't know. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And apparently they have an AI that goes through and looks for sentences that are bad. And then the AI pulls out the sentence and a human being looks at the sentence. And if the sentence is bad, they ban you. And it's like, what do you mean if the sentence is bad? Like I was reading right before they got me. Thank you, Frank, so much. And thank you, Jetta. Right before they got me, I was reading a quote from Le Monde, the, the, the top French newspaper. And Le Monde was quoting that idiot, Dmitry Medvedev, a senior Russian official, basically threatening to assassinate the French president. So does TikTok, did, did, did they take my sentence out of context and accuse me of threatening to assassinate the French president? I don't know. Who the hell knows, right? But that's how they ban you. The AI takes sentences out of context. And if the sentence out of context is bad, they ban you. I was like, that is the dumbest ass thing I've ever heard in my life. You know? And let me just say, in two years of doing this, I've never had one problem with it. The same video goes to TikTok and, 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 and YouTube. YouTube's never had a problem. TikTok, repeated problems. Facebook, never a problem. Twitter, never a problem. You know? But even that, Martin, I mean, I did. I, I, I may have mentioned the name of that German leader in World War II. Why the hell should that be ban-worthy? That's insane. I mean, you can't mention him in when you're talking about you. I mean, I, I mean, the story was about Donald Trump who praised him 
it was big in the news in America today. We can't say that because it's the guy's name. I mean, I, I, that's just, but again, they're out of their minds if this is the moderation system they've set up. It's absolutely crazy. And by the way, then tell people, if, if you're going to have some crazy rule that you can't say the name of the guy who ran Germany in World War II, then freaking tell people. I mean, you, you could, for example, say, you know what? We have so many far-right trolls that use his name that we just had to ban the word. Okay. Actually, you know what? Even that's bullshit. Because they say that it gets pulled out and then a human being reads it to make sure it's real. So the human being would have read it and seen the name came up because I was saying Donald Trump praised Donald Trump praised H man. And right there you'd go, okay, that's not clearly that's not right. It does, but 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 it do, but I would say it doesn't look bad out of context at all. Because literally it said Donald Trump praised him. I mean, that's a, that's out of con, I mean, even out of context. You get what I'm saying. This is ridiculous. It's just this is ridiculous. And I'm sorry guys. They got both of my feeds within two days of each other. Give me a break. We were reported. We were reported. And when you get mass reported at, at the, they, they respond and they take you down. There's, it's just, it's been proven time and again, you know? Oh God. Oh yeah. No, TikTok. the thing is get ready because if the Republicans buy TikTok, it's going to be even worse because it's going to be the crazies. New Ch Peter Thiel and all the rest. Elon Musk would love this. So we could have like Twitter part two where Elon brought all the, the Neo, the Neo ends. We'll be careful here just because to, uh, to, to Twitter literally brought them back. Literally, literally followers of the H man. <laughs> he brought back. I mean, insane, insane what he did. Um, the camera isn't filling the screen. That's because we're using the different camera now. I had to switch camera. Oh, I see. It isn't, it isn't filling the screen. It, well, the quality is lower. Let me, you know, let me try to switch to the other camera again and see if it's any better. I'm going to, like I said, when I hang up, when, when we hang up today, I am going to try to get a better camera online. Let me, um, okay, cam three, hang on. Let me go and turn on auto, oops, auto exposure. Don't be evil. Come on, auto exposure. <sighs> This is like the auto setting. This is not an auto setting. This isn't an auto setting at all. It's not great. Yeah, I'm trying here, guys, but it's not it's not doing it great. Um, yeah, it should be. Anyway, is that any better? Is that any better? Okay. Well, because this is higher quality, which is good. That does help. The quality is higher, but but it the color and everything can be really off, unfortunately, on this camera. Here, I'll move it over a little bit. It's just, it's it, the color is off, you know. Like I said, I'm going to look for my oh, urge to tap. Yeah, tap the screen. You can't tap the screen here. <laughs> um, anyway, so what else we got, guys? What time we got? I, I'm blocking my... Uh, Oh, 705. Yeah, we're still pretty early. We're still pretty early. Well, the, this is this is my the other one is my laptop camera. This is a quicker camera. So this frame rate frame rate would be better. Um, but I'm going to go and uh, like I said, I'll look tonight online. I'll do some research of what are the good cameras. And what I can do, too, is if I buy it on Amazon, at least I can return it within a month, which is good. You know, this camera during COVID, they didn't have it on Amazon and I had to buy it on um, eBay, which meant I couldn't return it because it was fine. It just sucked as a camera, you know. Um, EU is reported yesterday to give significant aid to several companies to ramp up munition and missile production to help Ukraine. That's good. Well, that's good. That's good. Um, uh, no, that's true, Caps. I never know that whether people have the highest setting on the video selected. That's a very good point. Yep. Very good point. Um, anywho, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna try to see. Um, one of you guys was helping me try to figure out, um, try to figure out uh, streaming to multiple places at once, like streaming to Kick, streaming again to Twitch. But 
it, we got to be careful. It's, 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 uh, because it, it, because of my bandwidth and the, and how much the computer can handle. Now I'm going to, Marie, I'll let you guys know if I buy a new camera, I'll let you guys know how much it is. And if you can, and then if you guys want to help pitch in, you know, let me, let me research it first and make sure I'm even buying one, but I probably will. Um, but then I've got to consider also, I may have to buy a new laptop. So we'll see. Or a new computer. We'll see. Because, uh, a guy was, like I said, was helping me the other day, one of you guys, and was being very helpful. But basically, what I do with this is almost like playing computer games. You need that kind of processor and everything else, you know, um, so that it, it needs a faster processor, a faster everything. Logitech Brio, that's one you're recommending, Jason? I mean, I know I was going to look at a 4K, Initially, I thought it said brick, <laughs> like Brazil, uh, Brazil, <laughs> India, you know, China, Saudi Arabia, whatever, or whatever, or South Africa. I mean, um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll research after the show and see what they've got. Hopefully, things are in stock still. Um, well, and the thing too is the thing too is like a lot of these set. I don't know what it is. A lot of these cameras don't give you enough settings. I don't know why. But like they should give you specific color settings and all they do is give you that one scroll. No, you should let me go in and adjust the red. For example, right now it's a little too blue. Let me go in and adjust the red, adjust the blue, adjust. I mean, like they just don't give you enough, you know, I know Joshua, my nephew is able to, I got to, actually I'm going to, the problem is my nephew is like getting ready to move, but I can mention to my nephew because he was going to build me one, but now I think it may be getting a little too late. Because he's able to build them, uh, the computers, and was going to build me like a, 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 a laptop, I mean, a, a PC. I, I have a Mac, cause, and I've used Macs since forever, so I really don't want to use a PC for, for my work work, right? But for this, I could use a PC. That's fine. I could launch it. And he was going to build me one, but I never really saw the value in it, and now I probably could use the PC because it would have been much better quality and multitasking all of this stuff would be much better, you know? But let's see. Um, I'm, I'm using OBS. That's what I'm on right now. Yeah, I'm using OBS, but, but I'm, we, we are afraid that I'm going to have to use a higher quality. Well, that's the question, Craig. Yeah. 4k is going to need a lot more upload bandwidth. Well, well, I mean, the interesting thing with 4k, oh, Marie, your son does too. Well, maybe we can talk. Cause like I said, my nephew, Anthony does it and was going to do it for me, but then I didn't. I didn't, um, I just, I, it, there was no reason. I mean, because basically I was going to do it for computer games. And I just was like, eh, do I really need a, um, maybe. Let, let's, let's, let's make it a possibility. Also, also keep in mind, you know, if you're, see if your son wants to help. I mean, because, you know, he may be like, mom, why are you offering help to some guy? <laughs> but I can talk to my nephew first too, because the problem is, like I said, he's moving in three weeks, I think, like for good, because remember to Asia. So I don't know whether in the next couple of weeks he's going to have any time to build a computer. Um, you don't think I should get a 4K cam? Interesting. Really, why not? I'm sorry, guys, but I could use the I could use the help here as far as the tech help. Yeah, but games I'm playing on I'm not, I'm playing my games on Xbox. So there's, I don't really, I'm not really worried about computer games, but I am worried about processing speed and all of that, you know, RAM, but also the processor and everything else for doing multi-streams, you know? Well, mention it, just mention it as a possibility to him, if you would. Because like I said, my nephew usually would do it for me. I didn't know I needed it and he's leaving the country in three weeks. So I don't know whether he's going to say, sure, I could do it or, or, ugh, you know, it's a little... I'm going to turn off the auto white balance so it stops correcting itself. Let's see here. Well, good enough there. Um, where can you find me on Venmo? Uh, you can go to aerovosis.com and that is the link to my link of links, my link tree. Um, and just go to, uh, it, go, so type it in yourself, aerovos.com, pulls up my link tree, and in it you'll see my Discord and Venmo and everything else. Yeah, Anthony, he married a woman from Singapore who's just wonderful. I love her. She's just wonderful. Um, and I mean, I like her because she's this sort of strong, smart Asian woman. And I say that because I've had some experience with Asian women that have been like, like Japanese that have been a bit more demure. 
she's not demure in a really good way. <laughs> um, so it's just, she's just really smart and really, I love her. And also has similar interests that I do. I think like dinosaurs and geology and everything else, which is great. Um, but, uh, but, um, you know, um, I do not have a PO box set up right now because they're so expensive and they'd be small anyway. Like a small PO box is like $500 a year. And, and, um, they don't get rid of the previous people. I had a PO box once a few years ago and every week I would get a stack of spam mail for some hairdresser salon. And I was like, and then they go, well, you know, you've got to come more often to empty the box. And I'm like, the entire box is filled with spam for the previous people and you know it. Why are you putting it in there? We don't have a choice, sir. By law, we have to put it in there. And I'm like, you know exactly whose it is. No. So I stopped getting a P.O. box because I'm like, this is because he goes, get a larger P.O. box. I'm like, I'm going to buy a larger P.O. box because I, I need to fit your spam you're putting in there. So yeah, anyway. Oh, are you David? Oh yeah, I'm Singaporean, sir, exactly. Yeah, no, she's lovely. She's from Singapore. Um, they just got married, but they're gonna need to, you know, it can take anywhere from 10 months or from a year to a year and a half to um, to uh, to basically go through the US immigration. Are you really married or is this a scam thing? There's such a backlog that they've got to live out of the country for a year, year and a half. So, you know, which is, I mean, in a way exciting because they're going to move to Asia or at least go live in Asia temporarily, right? Mustard was on earlier. Yes, I don't know if he's on now. He's he's here under his pseudonym, Kevin, <laughs> his real name. Um, but he was here earlier. I don't I don't know if he is now. Um, um, M2 MacBook Pro. Well, see, that's the other possibility is, you know, it's, in terms of, of a computer and everything, it's, I go and visit my mom, right? And my mom's old and I like to be able to go and visit her and I visit her for a month at a time and it's nice. And if I go there, I still need to be able to stream. So I've been using my laptop. It's a really nice Mac laptop. I bought it five years ago, um, but I basically end up, I, I always buy a better laptop I don't buy cheap laptops so they can last. This laptop's five years old and I'm still using it. Um, my Mac desktop is seven years old, right? I just, I try to buy good and maybe I spend a little bit more, but it lasts me years more. So I always, I'm just very frugal about my technology. If I can't, I mean, I love it, but if I can be. Um, so I, you know, I, I, I would certainly consider just buying a new good Apple laptop that's got a good enough processor. The problem is Apple's so freaking expensive, you know? Um, you know, yeah, mine's a 2018. So I guess that's, a, it's gotta be an Intel, my, my, my Mac 2018. So, um, but again, we've got to be able to do multi streams and yeah, Colonel Mustard's in the library with a candlestick. Exactly. Um, so, you know, um, I mean, I, I've got it. The problem is they're so damn expensive. You know what I mean? I mean, my MacBooks or my MacBook Pro. You know what I mean? I just, it's this one alone cost me, I think, $2,400. And they screw you on the RAM, which drives me crazy. Um, iPhone, I, I have an uh, iPhone 14 Pro, I guess. It's not the Max, or it's like the one step down. I know I can use it as a webcam, but one of the things was I didn't want to like use my iPhone battery every night and then be playing that game where now I'm, I'm, I'm wasting my iPhone, you know, battery. 2,300 euros. That's not bad though. M3 MacBook Pro. But you think that's, that's, well, tomorrow, oh, Webadub, sorry. Yeah. Tomorrow morning's our coffee chat, our coffee talk. Yeah. Mac mini. Yeah. Well, but, but again, I need something that's, that's quick enough. But we were saying the advantage of having a laptop computer is that if I travel, I'm still able to do the show, right? I go to mom's for a month. I mean, you know, mom's 94, but she's still kicking. <laughs> you know, if I'm able to go to mom's for a month, I can still do the show because I've got my laptop, which is nice, you know? Um, so I'm still considering, you know, do I not, do I not even worry about getting the new desktop even, even, uh, uh, what do you call the clones could still cost 700 to a thousand dollars. Or do I just put the money into, you know, put the money into a new computer, 
You know, I know I've got to put, and I've got to, sorry guys, I've been, everything's just been getting me so down. I've got to, I've still got the old auctions to mail out and now the new auctions to mail out. I promise this weekend I'll do it. Thank you, Frank. It's just, everything's been getting me so depressed, frankly, that I just haven't had the like oomph to do it, but I will. And Vlad did say he sent me more auction items, which will be fun. So that's good too. Um, and I'm looking actually, because some of the, some of the newest auction pieces, although I feel like Colonel Mustard is my, is my client. <laughs> Mustard has like, Mustard and Callum have the same taste I have in all the auction items, which is very funny. Um, what were we saying here? The uh, mom, I'm going to visit mom. Well, I'm, uh, three, a couple weeks, actually, cause three weeks. I go and I see mom and then I'm going to go to Asia because, well, Anthony had the wedding already in Asia. They did a, 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 sort of a justice of the peace type wedding with the family there with her wedding in Singapore. And he's going to do a wedding for the friends and family in Bali, which is obviously meant to be a a vacation, so to speak for anybody. It's not meant to come if you can't afford it. You know what I mean? But he wanted to, for his friends who could afford it, I'm going to go because I haven't done a vacation. Literally the first vacation I've had in 10 plus years, easily 10, maybe 15 years was visiting Anthony in Arizona. (laughs) last Christmas. I just don't go on vacations and I really should. So I'm going to take it and and go to the wedding in Bali and then just have two weeks in Bali. And that will include several days in Singapore to meet her and her family. And because Anthony told me about the airport. So I am going to check out the airport. They've got apparently an incredibly beautiful airport. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be, it'll be fun and nice to, and I'll still try to do some work, so to speak. I may not be doing, um, you know, Ukraine updates may be too difficult when I'm there because like here I'm literally following the news all day and doing my videos and everything else so that I'm actually up on stuff by the time we're doing the show. I don't know that I can when I'm, if I'm in Asia, but at the very least I'll try to, I'll try to do hangouts and things. You know what I mean? We'll do that at least. So like these kind of lives. And if the communists don't hate Singapore (laughs) or Bali, (laughs) I'll be able to check it live with you from there. Um, you're traveling tomorrow. Any more fun? Um, thank you, Solak. Appreciate that. I wanted to see really quick, though. So uh, if you travel, I would recommend the M3 MacBook. I mean, the problem is I just don't know about traveling. I mean, I don't travel a lot, but I do I do with for the holidays. And as long as my mom's around, I like to go home and visit mom for a while, you know? And if I do, then, then I, I need my, you know, accessories there, you know? So it's, it's a problem, you know? Um, so I'm looking here, hopefully, there we go. Adjusting the brightness a little bit. There we go. Um, you know, oh, I'll do trouble videos. I will for sure. For sure. Yeah. I'll do videos. Maybe I'll just, like I said, we'll do lives at crazy times. Maybe actually I'll ask, maybe I'll ask Anthony if he's willing to do the, uh, if he's willing for me to live stream the, uh, the, if I can, I have no idea whether my connection will be enough to even do that. It may, it may, it, it, my guess is live streaming will take, unless it's Wi-Fi in a house, it's going to be too much. Uh, so I, I'm have to, I'll have to be careful about live streaming when I'm over there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Anyway, I'll look at the M3. I'll look at the M3 and consider it. And I guess if I get the, if I get the M3 lap MacBook, then I don't need to get a new camera, we're assuming. Because I'm assuming the camera will be a little quicker. I don't know if it's any quicker than my Logitech, but... Um, and of course, the RAM thing always pisses me off, like I said, because I like to max out the RAM, but... Because like I'm, I always tell people I'm like quasi geek, so like I'm a I I know just enough tech. I am not a tech geek, but I'm not not a tech geek, <laughs> because I've been working with the internet for 35 years. I had to learn how to code for the net, you know, for HTML back in the day, and I would even code my own blog and websites. But then it got too complicated. So now coding with CSS and everything else is just way over my. I can't do it. Um, but. It means like I like to play with computers. I like to play with the tech and stuff. So I always used to buy my RAM on the side and like on my iMac, I bought my RAM on the side. My RAM was like, I got like 
256 megs of RAM or whatever for like 500 bucks. It was something, re- or 250. It was insane at the time. Apple was asking $2,000 for the RAM. They were $2,000. And I literally got it for like 250 or 500 from my, my outside people I go to. But, but Apple, being the jerks they are, have been soldering their computers to stop you from upgrading. It's, no, it's, it's Apple especially. It's, I love Apple. But it's offensive what they did in terms of soldering the computers. You think 16 gigs is enough? Well, you know what's funny, though? I do have 16 on this computer, and it's been okay, surprisingly. It's actually been okay. It could have taken 32, and I was, but it was too expensive, and I was very scared about I am but I am no enough to be I'm actually I'm no enough I pissed off my little Russian spy at the United Nations because there was something he was working on with our website it was like oh I can't it doesn't I can't get it to do it and he was just a f- Ukrainian but he was a freaking Russian spy and like it doesn't I was like what do you mean it doesn't work we were trying to change one stupid thing I said let me try what do you mean I said I know HTML I can at least look at it I sat down within a minute I fixed it and he just looked, this guy hated me. I think he hated me because I was gay too, <laughs> but he also hated me because he was a Russian spy. Oh, it was, so I mean, yes, I know enough to sometimes get stuff done. Um, I love tech stuff. Tech is fun. It's, 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 I say it's like math. It's the good side of math. Tech stuff is, you know, um, let me look here. I'm trying to, now I'm trying to pull up these computers just for fun to see what they are. Hold on. Apple store. Let's just look for fun. So I'm looking since you guys recommended this M3 MacBook. All right, just for fun. What the hell? Since, well, and by the way, this is kind of what we do. Well, actually, we haven't done one of these in a while. This, I have to do more of these where we just kind of hang out, you know, and especially for the subscribers, because I want to, I, I was talking to somebody about that this week with all of the TikTok woe. I want to make sure that I sort of beef up stuff to do with you guys who are subscribing as a thank you even though i know a lot of you are just doing it to help me but still to try to you know give you some more value and to do more hangouts and things but i think also i enjoy like we did this on a sunday once just the remember we were going through the the the, um excuse me going through the uh music and everything we like which was so much fun i that was that i was enjoying that that was a fun we spent like an hour and a half i think just going through music um, all right, let me check this out. MacBook Air M3. I typically get a 15 inch. So just for fun, let's check this out. All right. <clears throat> let me look. All right. You guys said the M3. Like I said, normally I get a 15 because because it's too because especially if I'm using it as a work computer. Um see this is what's all all right. All right, as I'm looking at this, which core should I be looking at? Uh, you have 32 gigs, idling at 12. I, more is, I know more is always better with RAM, yeah. Which processor? 16 gig unified memory, 8 gig unified memory. It's all SSID, or SSD. SSID, that's funny, didn't mean that, SSD. Um, let's look at the more expensive one just for fun. Okay, the more expensive one for the processor. All right. Um, customize, what the hell is unified memory? What is unified memory now, guys? Just curious. Well, the video now is because I switched. So what I did was, this is, this is what's, it's very hard to do this kind of work because forever, my nephew and I were playing with this forever. My quality of my videos on YouTube was just not good on TikTok. It was. And I had to switch the service I was using to stream my video, switching the camera, everything like it was this crazy. For example, I found that if I go to YouTube, YouTube's website, and click go live via YouTube's website, the quality's worse. If I go via an outside service called OBS and use their software to connect to YouTube, the quality's better, which is insane because you would think wouldn't, YouTube be the best connection just connecting straight to YouTube. It wasn't. So anyway, I cut off the other services I was doing like TikTok and Twitch and stuff so that I could do this with you guys directly on YouTube and it upped the quality. It upped the quality. So that's why you're getting better YouTube quality now is because I frankly killed all the other things I was streaming to (laughs) because I wanted to give you better. Um, 
Apple's unified memory, you're all going to learn tech tonight, is a technology that allows the CPU to share the same memory. Fair enough. I guess my point is, is it still better to get 24 gigs than 16? Let's just put it and see what the price is. All right, 24 gigs. Storage. Oh, they finally give you a terabyte. Interesting because they didn't used to have a terabyte. I mean, I've got, I've got 500 gigs and it's enough on my current computer. I will say. I didn't need a terabyte. I will say in the past, though, more has been nice. Let's try a terabyte for 200 and just see what this comes to. Power adapter? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, the power adapter that comes with it is fine. Um, does that change the price? I don't. What's the difference in the adapter? 70 watt or 35 watt? Why would you want one versus the other? Wouldn't, wouldn't a 70 watt be charging you faster? Why wouldn't everybody want that if it's the same price? Wouldn't it be? Um, I'm definitely, in principle, I'm, I'm, I'm broadcasting 1080p caps in principle. That was, that was what, you know, <laughs> I checked. That's what it claimed, but it was, it was doing a really lousy quality. Um, anyway, I'll worry about that later. The keyboard, pre-installed software, I don't think so. Okay, why is this so cheap? This is coming out at 2000 And when I say cheap, when I say cheap, I mean I'm used to paying 2500 and up for laptops. Why is this? What is considered the RAM? Is the 24 gigs of unified memory, is that considered the RAM? Guys? Oh, really? You need the bigger watt? Uh, I'll, have to, I'll Google that. And I'm not going to buy this tonight, obviously. But, um, but, but they don't charge more for the more expensive one. That's what's surprising. I mean, for the for the seventy for the seventy watt. So why wouldn't you want a seventy watt one instead, right? Um, so I'm looking at video card uh, unified memory. Sounds like AMD's integrated CPU. But where's the RAM? I'm not seeing RAM on here. I have never bought the Air before. I always get the Pro. So the memory is RAM. So when they're saying the the 24 gig unified memory is RAM, okay. But that's not much more expensive either. It's only 200 bucks, which I'm shocked. Okay. This is an Air? Oh, this is an Air. Oh, it is an Air. That's why. I've never understood. What's the difference between the Air and the Pro? I mean, are you guys saying... But I mean, in terms of the power, I mean, I don't care about bigger, of course. You know, battery life has never been a problem. I don't use it. I, I never use my computer with a battery, like ever, never, ever. So battery life is irrelevant, which is good. Battery life's irrelevant for me. Um, I mean, I'll save the specs on this one, but I'm just curious. Thank Oh, oh thanks, David. I'm just curious. Um, do I need the Pro or is the is the Air enough? I just want something that is going to be good enough for doing my streaming and probably multi-streams. You know, probably multi-streams. Um, because, because of the TikTok dilemma, we'd like to maybe start streaming to Kick and Twitch again in some other places. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> dad jokes, Gunther, that's cute. I mean, normally I would get Pro because I would think of it as probably being a beefier system in terms of processing and RAM and everything. I just, just, but again, I've never built a computer. I just have a, you know, a semi-geek knowledge. Well, let's just for fun. I'm going to save this one. The Air for 2000 is surprisingly cheap, but I say this as someone who's had to buy computers all his life. So I know 2000 isn't cheap, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, let me look just for fun at the, let's go to Max again and look at the Pro. Um, hold on, I'm actually going to try to pull this up so I can see you guys while I'm looking at this. One second here. All right, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It might slow it down, though, if I pull up YouTube at the same time. Come on, YouTube. Going a little slowly. Oops, my channel, my channel. <laughs> All right, one second, guys. All right, my live. Here we go. 
All right, here we go. Oop, there's Joe. There's a Joe Biden ad. Okay, not going to complain about that ad on my live. <laughs> we like Joe. Hang on. Skip. All right, now. I'm trying to scroll down so I actually can see the chat. Okay, there's the chat. Okay. Okay, now. Now I can see you guys at the bod dump. Just for fun, let's look at the. Here we go at the Apple, the MacBook Pro just for fun. Um, MacBook Pro. I mean, like I said, this thing's five years old and it works. The keyboard doesn't work anymore, which is very funny. I literally have to use a separate keyboard. <laughs> well, because it got, so, I, I tried cleaning it. It didn't work. It got so gummed up. I tried cleaning. I've got a blower. I did everything and it didn't work. Um, my Wi-Fi, correct, Kellen. My Wi-Fi bandwidth is excellent right now. At mom's, it's iffy. Possibly at my place, I've got 70 up like even right now that we're doing this. My upload is typically 70. And thank you, Solak. I just saw your message. Sorry, I didn't. I know some of you coming in via. Um, uh, thank you, Kolak. And oops, somebody else. Let me just pull this up really quick because it doesn't always show me your names on PayPal. I can just see a PayPal came in. Let me just I want to thank people real quick. Carl, thank you very much. Very nice of you. Um, oh, a couple of people, Gila, that might've been today. I don't know if that was today, Gila. Thank you if it was. Um, all right, what was I looking at here? Oh, I was looking really quick at the MacBook Pro. So just for fun, all right? Just for fun, MacBook Pro. Oh, 14 and 16 inch, that's a thing now? Huh, I didn't know that. That's funny. They changed the size. Okay, so you guys are saying just for fun on the MacBook Pro, should I look at the, the M3 Max or the M3 Pro? You tech geeks. Sorry, guys, but we've delved totally into me looking into a computer here. So well, it's been an hour and a half, so we'll consider this a hangout part of the show. Um, better camera quality means, means more. Um, but should I be getting, it says M3, M3 Pro, M3 Max. If we know what the difference is between those. But now we're already looking at the Pro. So this is the Pro, this isn't Pro versus Air. This is which Pro? M3 chip, M3 Pro, M3 Max. And I know you guys, I'm going to, I would stick with 14. I wouldn't do 16. Max is overkill. So just M3 Pro, you think, for starters? Just seeing what other people think, since I have no idea who you are, sick. <laughs> I believe you, but I have no idea who you are. Um, and again, I won't buy it immediately, but, but your, guys, your guys' collective feedback is really helpful. Um, oop, there we go. Not much difference, between, but Max is a bit... Oh, okay, then let's do M3 Pro if there's not much difference. Um, black, that's funny. They have black now. That's kind of fun. Um, all right. Um, one terabyte. I can look at one terabyte. Although the one terabyte in this case is $400 more. I've got half a gig on my computer and I'm fine with it on the one that I use because I don't... I just I just don't. I mean, I've, got, I've probably still got 150 free on this thing. Um, you know, no need for max. So you, uh, yeah, no, I'm skipping max. Cause people are saying, don't do max. Um, do you really need a terabyte versus 500 in the old days? I really needed the terabyte. Now I really don't. I find I don't like I've got, I've got, I mean, and I haven't really had mission creep with my programs. You know, I'm just trying to look here to see the size of my, yeah, I've got 169 terabytes, 169 gigs available on a 500 gig hard drive. I mean, and I've been using this thing for five years, you know? It's, I'm just kind of wondering if I need the, um, like I said, if I need the terabyte. Although the core, although the CPU, oh, the GPU is different though. The GPU is a little different. 12 core CPU, 18 core GPU, I would typically want to hold on to this for five years if I could. 
if I could. That's I mean, that's uh, I like to buy. I like to spend a little bit more and then hang on to my I told you I've got two iMacs here. My one iMac is probably 12 years old and my most recent one is probably seven years old and it works great. <laughs> and I just keep it and it's it's it works great. And I use it occasionally, but it's wonderful. Um, but but I'm wondering the difference between the terabyte and the half and the half a terabyte is 11 core CPU, 14 core GPU versus 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU. And I don't know what that means in terms of processor. You know what I mean? So 11 core CPU and 14 core GPU is the, is the half, a, half a terabyte and the full terabyte is 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU. Um, don't, Gunther, be good. We're being geeky today. Don't be gross, Gunther. <laughs> um, MacBook Pro with M3 Pro will easily do five. That's good. But which one would you buy though? And I'm saying like, the, I'm trying to figure out the processors now. Um, anybody? Well, terabyte is one question, but the other thing is the processor is different for the terabyte and the half terabyte is what I'm saying. So the terabyte, actually... I could probably even show you my screen, actually. There's nothing on my screen that's proprietary. Oh, or, uh, yeah, here. I don't know if you could, actually, hold on. I can scroll up and make sure I can see. One second here. It's delayed 10 seconds, so hopefully you can see this once it flips around. Boy, it really is delayed a good 10, 15 seconds. All right. Wow. It may be delayed 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, good, you can see that. Okay. All right, there. Now I'm putting it back. All right, so once you get to see that, tell me which processor are we talking about here? And again, remember, it's, it's, it's not just the size of the hard drive. They're different processors too. So that's my question. <clears throat> I do not do 3D rendering and stuff, no. But but is the processor enough on the half a terabyte? Basically, consider that I'm going to be streaming. I don't do a lot of video editing either, really. I did at one point, but I think you should be considering I'm going to be streaming on this thing. Okay, so the variant overall is overkill, you're saying. Okay, okay. Okay, good. I just wanted you to make sure you saw the processor too. Okay, then let's pick the, let's pick the smaller one. All right. Um, wait, which one were you looking at? Sorry, Deemer was just saying which one you even meant. Um, yeah, the eleven core is what is what uh, Sick was saying too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let me look here. All right. Good night, Evelyn. I know we're just kind of geeking out here. Um. All right, now they're asking about a chip. All right, the chips are Apple M3 Pro chip. Oh my God, there's too much here. All right, I'm, I'm switching around again. Here we go. It'll take another 20 seconds to catch up. Hold on. Oops, hang on. All right, there we go. All right, just waiting here for it to catch up but there's four different chips and a big difference in price up to a thousand bucks. Um, again, we want something that can handle multi streams um, and also um, will last for a while is the idea that like, could I possibly have this for, for the next five years? So. All right, there, that should be it. I think I held it in place. It's really weird because it is delayed about half a minute, I think, for whatever reason. It's annoying, um, but that's okay. Oop, now I'm going to scroll down again to where you guys are. Thank you for doing this, by the way. I really appreciate this. Um, yeah, so now it's the CPU or the chip or whatever. That, yeah, the, C, the chip. They're saying an app. Well, there's a lot of them. They're all Apple M3 Pro 
uh, through M3 Pro, M MP Max, M3 Max. But then there's oh, the 11, oh, what is this? 11 core, 12 core, 14. Well, I may be spending money. We're not there yet, but it, there's a very good chance I would. 18 core is fine for streaming. 40 is overkill. Um, uh, we're on the, oh, I see what you mean. Oh, it's that core GPU. I see what you mean. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. 40. So 18. So you're saying what the 18 or the third, it's, it's a 14 core, 18 core, 30 core and 40 core. So you're leaning to the 18 or the 30 basically, or you think even the 30 might be overkill. And again, it, these could be multiple streams and possibly the higher processing camera. Although the camera that comes with this may be what I end up using. Actually, it's going to depend on the quality of the camera because I've often found that the cameras aren't pretty enough on the computer and I've had to get an outside camera in the past. This camera just happens to be a lousy camera, the Logitech I've got. But previously, I bought outside cameras because they just were so much nicer, which you care if you're doing a show, you know, visually how the camera interacts with your light and everything, it matters, you know. Um, but, uh, yep, so still waiting for your guys' feedback on this. Um, but this is the GPU we're talking about here. So we had one vote saying 30 or 40 is too much, but what about 18 versus 30 core? And again, keep in mind, 18 is $200 more. 30 core is $600 more. I'm assuming the picture's caught up with you guys now. Um, I mean, I like more bang for the buck. $600 is a lot, but what does more bang for the buck mean in terms of practical practical performance? I mean, I do like more performance because occasionally I'll play games too. You know, although I do have my little Xbox right now. But um, Oh, interesting. Well, I would at the very least, I'd get the 18 from what you guys are saying. I guess it's a matter of the 18 versus a 30. You know? Um, that's the question. Another $400 more for the 30 core. Now, I will say, I mean, as I said, I typically overpay 12 core. The only option is 14, 18, 30, or 40. <laughs> um, I typically will pay more to beef it up more so it lasts longer, you know, and that, and, and that, has, that has certainly served me well, you know. Um, no, you're, you're thinking, WC's thinking 18, so nobody's leaning towards 30. going to wait another minute longer play games and video editing go 30 if not just streaming and regular use go 18 um i may play games sometimes and i do sometimes do video editing it's rare but i do um you know let me add the let me add the 16 for now oh see the 16 but the 16 jumps because the 16 automatically gets us to already making it 3000 30 is way overkill. Yeah, see, that gets us, that gets it to 3,000. Now, it, okay, if 30 is way overkill, then the 18 I've got, that would be 2,600, and that would be the final. That's it. And then memory, interesting. The unified memory isn't giving me other choices. It's saying 36 gigs of unified memory, so that is my choice. Um, and the hard drive we already said was half a gig, Actually, I mean, 200 bucks more, you get a terabyte. That's not bad. You know, I, I almost would consider that, to be honest, because I don't mind the extra space. 200 bucks isn't the end of the world for getting an extra, you know, an extra half a, half a terabyte. This computer, I've been very good. No, I can write, well, the, the, here's the irony, Marie. I can write it off, but I've actually been not making so much money the last few years that the write-offs almost are a negative in a way. Um, because I've almost have too much, too many write-offs for the, what I do one year, quite literally, I had so many write-offs that it pushed me where they weren't going to, 
they they weren't going to give me an Obamacare subsidy. They were going to make me get Medicaid <laughs> because my write-offs pushed my my salary into like poverty level, which was ridiculous. And I was like, "What are you talking about? I'm not applying for Medicaid." <laughs> like so, like it, when you when you're not making a ton of money, which I'm not doing this stuff, the write-offs almost don't help in a way. It's kind of funny in a, in a twisted way. It's stupid actually because you'd think they'd always help, but they don't. Um, it, it can push your salary down too far. It's it's weird. It's it's very strange. Yeah, trust me. These are like and doing my own. Well, also because I do my own accounting now because I had so many bad accountants. I use TurboTax. Everything's in there, and I go, which it takes me a while to do. But I I really know my taxes now, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm doing the 32 gigs of unified memory. Um, the question is, do you guys care? I mean, half a terabyte versus a terabyte of storage. I have been surprisingly fine with half a terabyte on this computer. My only concern is whether over time, you know, programs get are going to get bigger, you know, kind of dinosaurs, whatever they used to call it. But I've not found that to be a problem. You know, I use Photoshop. I subscribe to Photoshop and all those kind of things, you know, but... But I've been surprisingly doing okay. Like I said, I've got 160 gigs left on my 500 gig hard drive, which surprises me. Um, so that's the last sort of question on whether it's worth going any bigger or whether it's not worth the $200. Um, yeah, the 32 gigs of, again, I'm, I'm assuming unified memory is RAM. You think a terabyte? I mean, I, I have previously, I, I, had, I had issues with not having a bigger drive. This last time I did okay. Um, what did Prexus say? It would be cheaper to get an external drive after the extra, after for the extra storage. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, well, well, that's my only concern is, right, like whether I would fill it, not with pictures and things, whether I would fill it with, um, you know, programs or anything else. You know, you have nine full. I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, I mean, and I do use external drives and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the RAM is more important to me, you know. Well, I mean, as this is, it gets it to twenty five ninety nine, which isn't that much more than the air. You know, that's 500 bucks more than the air, which is not the end of the world. You know what I mean? That's not bad. Okay, this isn't terrible, guys. I'm going to consider this because that's not terrible. Um, I may not buy it tonight, but I'll, I'll over the weekend think about it because that's at least a, uh, that's doable, you know? Yeah, my only concern was in years ago having issues where the programs became too much of a bear on the system and then my hard drive was getting too full. That was the concern, you know? Um, you know, that, that was a bigger issue. So, but again, for 200 gigs, I mean, for $200, I still would consider going to one terabyte. $200 increment is not terrible for half a terabyte, in my view. I would have expected they would have asked for 400 or more, you know what I mean? Just to be jerks about it. And the RAM is that 32 gig thing. So the RAM is the highest they'll let me get. So, um... Yeah, let me, and you know what I'll do? I'll check with, I'm forgetting, I'm already forgetting your name if you're here. I think it was Jedi who was the tech guy helping me on like the, the streaming services and stuff, giving me advice on that. And actually I'll check with Syndicate too, because Syndicate, Syndicate now that he's married is very busy. So a little harder to get a hold of. We love him though. But I can um, check with, with Jedi as well on the specs because he was the one actually telling me the other day that he felt like my specs were probably going to be a problem on my current laptop for doing a multi-streaming or whatever in the future. So, or, or with a stronger camera. Now I am kind of curious, what's the camera on this thing? Is the camera any better or not really? You know, um, I mean, I love using a Mac. I just think they're a little bit of con men the way they, you know, are you using the goat? <laughs> that, that's for you, Stefan. <laughs> see, I can see the goat. I know it's not as good as the other. The thing is, it literally is the goat. I took a picture of the goat. So I thought, you know, I thought maybe it would work. Um, 
That's funny. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll think about the terabyte. Um, Apple Care. I mean, typically I get the the Apple Care. You know, the problem with the camera stuff. Oh, the ca- what, the camera, the camera. You mean with the computer? But is it? I wonder if is it better than my Logitech that I've got, or is it just another 1080p camera? You know. Well, we'll have to see how it looks. I guess it is what it is. <clears throat> you know. Um. A desktop, that's the problem. Yeah, no, that's the problem. Macs are going to cost you twice. Laptops cost you more and Macs cost you more. The thing is, I love having my iMac desktop and everything else, but I've been, you know, for travel, for travel, I need the laptop. I don't travel a lot, but what I do like to see my mom and stuff several times a year, I need the laptop. I'm working from her place for several weeks. So every night I'm doing the video and I, I would need something that can keep streaming, you know? So I don't really have a choice. Okay. <clears throat> MacBook still thermal throttle under heavy use. Oh, interesting. Oh. Interesting. Okay. It, it could get overheated. The emoji goat? Well, somebody had a, they had the other goat they had there too. I mean, I will say, I have never broken my computers. I've used Apple Care when I've had problems with a computer. That has happened. You know, I, I, I'm trying to think if my, I'm trying to remember what I've had happen. <clears throat> I've occasionally needed Apple Care. It's, it's iffy, you know, it's iffy. On the phone, I actually don't buy it anymore because it's too expensive. But on the computer, sometimes I'm like 279 for, for three years is interesting. You know, it's, it's a possibility. I, usually I err on the side of doing it. But I've never broken, I've never dropped or broken a computer in my life, you know? Um, well, Manda, the problem is the current laptop probably can't handle multi-streaming, which we may have to start doing in order to avoid the, well, also this one's getting old. I mean, in the sense that the keyboard no longer works. <laughs> so I literally have to use a keyboard on the side. <laughs> and when I travel, I have to take my Apple keyboard with me. So that is an issue, but I was like, you know, I was trying not to have to deal with it. Um, but if I'm going to try to multi-stream using OBS or some of these other services, I am going to probably have to have a, a, a stronger computer. And because of this TikTok problem, I'm really worried that I may not have a choice but to, um, but to uh, start multi-streaming and see. The problem is, you know, t- I was doing Twitch. Twitch wasn't bringing in much money. You know, I mean, although Twitch, we're only doing the weekend show. Twitch now allows the daily show. So Twitch, who knows? Maybe Twitch would bring in more. But Twitch is bringing in like $25 a week, which, you know, or no, 25 to 50 a month, <laughs> which wasn't really much. Um, you know, there's this kick website. I mean, I can try I could try to go to a number of different sites. I don't know whether it would work. You know, I am not on TikTok tonight because TikTok banned me because I'm not a communist shill. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I am not. You are correct. You are correct. Um, so I'm just looking here really quick. Anyway. Yeah, I just, I, well, Apple care. I'll have to think about it. I'll think about it. <clears throat> I'll think about it. I did eat earlier. I ate before the show, so I'm pretty good tonight. I'm just going to have like sweets tonight, but no, I'll try Twitch again. I mean, I was on Twitch and I, I, I will, I can set up Twitch again easily, but again, the multi-streaming, it's going to take a little work on the technical side for me to figure it out. And then, um, and then I just need a better system to do it. But as I said, as my, I mean, I like my laptop, but what I typically do is I would keep like, I've kept, I've got two iMacs. Like, I keep my computers as backups just in case. So I'm going to keep, I, if I get a new laptop, I'll keep this laptop as my backup, even though it needs a keyboard, I've got my keyboard. So it's my backup. And I, if I ever, you know, the laptop breaks, I've got something to use in the interim, you know? Um, so anyway, guys, this is very helpful. Thank you. So I will, I will strongly consider that. I will talk to Jedi as well and as syndicate and send the specs to them too, since they're the ones, hopefully they're going to be helping me figure out um, and yeah, OBS was being weird today with whatever that was. Although I'm assuming I'm, I don't even know what that was. I copied the error, but whether that was 
my system being too slow for it or what, you know? I mean, I'm happy to entertain help, Launchpod, sure. You know? Which setup, though, Stefan? Um, <clears throat> you know? But yeah, happy, Launchpod. I don't know. Are you on Discord with us at all? I don't know what the easier way is of reaching out. <clears throat> I was going to say, if you're on Discord, just message me. You should be able to. I think my messages are open on Discord. People do. Um... <clears throat> excuse me but because i know people have been telling me about the the options and the i mean I, again jet i went through a whole thing you know what i mean um bonuses <laughs> um i know i know i haven't talked to syndicate in a while yeah yeah oh interesting multi from a slow machine interesting well, i mean because like you know it was talking about these plug the atom plug-in um Tickfinity, which I've checked out, but Tickfinity confuses the hell out of me. I know a lot of people recommend Restream.io. It's like all this stuff that I know of, but I, you know, I don't know. You know? Um, I mean, I'm happy to entertain a way to multi-stream well from here. <sighs> you know? Um, I mean, eventually, like I said, this keyboard doesn't work, so eventually, you know, and again, I tried. I tried cleaning the keyboard. There's no, there's just no... There's no cleaning it. Yeah, di oh, Discord me. That's perfect then. Yeah, Discord me. Okay. Yeah, because I'd at least like to hear what you what you propose. And then I'll give it a few days. At least I've got this saved. Actually, I may need to log in. Am I logged in? I'm not logged in. Let's see if it'll let me log. You know what? I'm going to review my bag and save this. <clears throat> and then, yeah, let me, like, save the product details. Let me do this real quick, <clears throat> just in case when I log in that it doesn't make it disappear. Let's see here. All right. I'll save these two, the Air and the Pro, although I probably would get the Pro. And let's, it's not even letting me log in. Where do I log in, you crazy MacBook crazy thing? Huh. Oh, I guess I got to go to checkout. Let's see if it lets me log in now. No, I will log in. I will log in. Yeah, message me. That's fine. Thank you. Um, oops. What are you doing here? Oops. All right, guys. I'm going to get going so I can get this for you. But thank you very much. And thanks for everything, guys. I appreciate you hanging out tonight. Because like I said, this has been very trying for me the last the last few days. So it's been, it, it, this, was a, this was a nice hangout. We got a lot of news done, too. And you helped me out with this, too, which is great. Um, so thank you all so much. And thank you, obviously, for the donations and helping out and everything. Um, and there you go. And I will see you all. Uh, well, I'll see a bunch of you tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Like I said, well, I'll try to do I'll try to do YouTube. Um, I'll go. I'll just go directly to YouTube and do members only, whatever. And then I'll also do Discord. And hopefully we'll be able to do both of those at once. It won't be too confusing, but we should be able to. All right. And we won't have to, we won't have to worry about, uh, about TikTok. Woo woo. God, I'm telling you. I'm just having bad, bad thoughts about TikTok. All right. Thanks, guys. You have a good night, okay? Now I've got to figure out how to actually turn this off. Oh, here we go. I know how to turn this off. <laughs> I'm like so confusing. All right. See you guys. Instagram someday again. I, I'll, I, Instagram when I multi-stream will do that. We'll do that. Um, <clears throat>